What on earth have I done? Stick around to find out what this mess is all about. It's a lot of fun, I promise you that. Lots of awesome commentary. You don't want to miss it. Welcome back to the junkyard here in the Diecast Museum. Recently emptied and making room for potentially a new junkyard assortment of vehicles. How fitting that I found just the thing, perhaps, at my local Diecast store. That is Aurelia Diecast. I got a great deal on a whole bunch of junk cars. Not necessarily uh, worth a lot of money in collector sort of speak, but a nice big assortment of well played with very old vintage die cast cars from a whole bunch of different manufacturers. About 250 cars in total we're going to look at today. Mostly for nostalgia because they are well played with. There are a few exceptions of cars that aren't overly played with and might be worth a little bit more than a dollar each. However, we've got some really cool vehicles and worth taking a look at. Check out this Matchbox. Nassau Space Truck, as well as some Majorette, Corgi and Ertl, Hot Wheels of course, got a few vintage Hot Wheels in here, and a big old dinky bus. Those are the ones that didn't fit in the four 48 car cases all filled to the brim with probably more than 48 cars and two Plano cases, absolutely stuff full of old vehicles. So without further ado, let's go into a vintage car review. With so many classic cars and trucks to review, I need to make a bit of room here on the review table and then we can sort the vehicles by brand and condition and that sort of thing, see what is in here. I'm gonna start by emptying out the Plano cases one vehicle at a time with you guys. And we're going to check them out. Everything in here was uh, basically sold as a single lot collection to Aurelia Diecast, who in turn let me buy uh, pretty much what I wanted from a larger assortment of vehicles, many of which were played with just kind of normal, newish cars of pretty much no value given the condition. However, I chose to just kind of handpick all the vehicles that look to be about 20 to 30 years or older and uh, stuff them into these four cases so as to make you guys an interesting assortment for this video hope you enjoy it let's get into it all right and in absolutely no particular order let's get all these vehicles out of the 48 car plano case Don't mind all the little yellow tags and things that uh, were identifying certain vehicles from the original owner. These do not actually correlate with the vehicles because, I, as I said, I kind of hand sorted them. We've got a lot of different things in here. Older, newer, and I'm not going to spend a lot of time on any one vehicle. Although it looks like many of these were purchased from various uh, stores that sold die cast vehicles out of that. Um, perhaps an antique store or something. 1980s Hot Wheel T-Bird Stalker. $7 is a bit rich for a car in this condition. So uh, it is a neat car. Probably about 1986 to 88 for that Hot Wheels. Gold Hot One Wheels. And uh, what do we got here? An old Lesney. This one is the Ford Group 6. Still has the stickers on it, interestingly. We've got the trailer for a Majorette moving studio. Probably one of the older ones here, although not that old because it still has the plastic wheels with the chrome centers. Made by Lesney. The uh, er Ergomatic cab and tanker truck. Missing all of its stickers. Kind of a newer Hot Wheels uh, black wall Ford truck. And... What is this thing? The Rollomatics 73 Weasel, made in 1973 by Lesney. A whole bunch of these little tipper trucks. Some have been repainted. Some clearly have windshield damage and other assorted damages, but they do all have their box, which uh, is kind of cool to see. However, very common castings, not worth a lot of money. This is probably the nicest one. And probably not the last one you're going to see in this collection. I just grabbed them all because they are old and neat. 
similar-ish casting from Lesney. Got this kind of tow truck. It's missing one hook and a bit of paint as well. It's been stepped on. The lights are squashed through the roof. However, it is neat that it still has the tow. Tojo, it's called, from 1972. And an overly common casting worth absolutely nothing. The Fire Chief, number 64. A lot of really common castings here, actually. So if you have these in your collection, don't be surprised. Turbo Fury, all early 70s. There's a couple of these that I saw in the collection as well. It looks like a Pontiac Trans Am of some sort. Uh, Firebird, made in 1975. Check out the wear on those wheels. Really loved uh, junkyard cars, probably from a sandbox. Very common. Hot Wheels, sort of indie car, no name on it. This one's not that old, but I always like seeing the Land Rovers. And this is the Land Rover 90, probably early 90s. Ooh, another one of those weird cars that Matchbox was struggling to compete with Hot Wheels at the time in the early 70s for speed on the racetracks. It's called the Harry Hustler. The Harry Hustler. Now that one has tampos, not stickers, so not that old. This is pretty much just a newish junk camper in terrible condition. Another Land Rover 90, not old, so we won't spend any time on that. This little Chevy Blazer, not old either. Just really played with. So they do look old, but they're not old. You can tell which ones are old based on the type of car they are. Look at this thing. With stickers, too, is a good indicator. And that fan looks like it's definitely chewed up a lot of dirty air. Maybe a bit of tobacco smoke in a garage somewhere. 1975. The Fandango. Not worth anything. Here's a Jeep missing the roof. Otherwise, the paint is in good shape. Probably a CJ5. Lesney uh, Jeep CJ6, pardon me. Majorette, kind of a Formula One indie sort of car. Looks like the spoiler's a little bit wonky. Plastic base, so pretty much no. Garbage truck, State City. This one, I think, has the functioning tipper. Yes, it does. Check it out. Um, not worth anything, really. Refuse truck. This is probably one of the older ones in the whole lot. And it is missing a tire, although there was a tire taped to the base, it was not the correct tire for the car, sadly. Ferrari, number 73, made in England. F1 Ferrari. Um, got some weird black paint globbed on it, and really no original paint left. Amazing that it even has three of the wheels. Again, these little yellow tags that the original collector and owner lovingly filled out, they don't really... I think that's this car here, actually. Light metallic blue, good. Uh, DW, whatever that means. He's got all that information, and I'm sure it was therapeutic to fill it out. However, in this condition, this car is not worth more than about the 25 to 50 cents that I pretty much paid for it. So, this is not a uh, bashing of the die-cast cars in this collection. It's just... Adding it to my collection and being honest with the uh, value of the vehicles. So we've got a few more here. And let's get those out. There's a lot of different... Apologies for the noise, but realistically, it's a lot quicker to get them out this way than any other way. Uh, the Morgan missing a headlight. Is that the Morgan? Matchbox. Oh, it's a Jaguar S100. Very common casting. Old Husky Airport Truck. Uh, Ford F-350. Those are kind of cool, but pretty common and totally bashed up. Majorette Truck that's missing the plastic canopy cap. It's just called the Ford. May have had that matching trailer that we looked at in here. Oh, well. Next, we've got another Husky. And this looks like a Buick Electra missing the top half of the car. Am I right or am I wrong? Pontiac convertible. Come on. And what have we got here? Another little Husky. These are almost HO scale. Ford Thunderbird. This is probably a Lesney broken tractor. Uh, there's no loader on it. No shovel. The Weatherbill Hydraulic made in England by Lesney number 24. Very early Lesney. I would say this is actually really well painted it's a really nice repaint of 
A Tamika. Cedric Wagon. So pretty common car. Broken tailgate. Piss poor paint job, guys. Sorry, pardon my French, but not, not the greatest paint job. Probably was enjoyed and loved by a child. Now check out this little old truck with the gray wheels. This could be an old Lesney. It is. It's a very old Lesney. And uh, that is neat. I haven't seen one of those before in my collection. Very weird scale, mind you. As is this one. Another old Matchbox. Super fast, 1971. The Lotus Super 7. Very common. Here we have uh, just a generic, like, cheap, cheapo vehicle. But one I remember from my, my youth. The Hard Toy. 1988, made in China, so very, very lightweight uh, metal and mostly plastic, but still kind of neat because I, I grew up with that truck and I think I lost the back cap. I still have the truck, but there it is. Uh, what appears to be another Husky Ford Thames van. Neato, missing a door. Lesney, uh, a big old truck. No, it's not in great shape. It's definitely been repainted. This one still has the three plastic cars, which is neat, but super common truck. The Car Transporter, 1976. I thought we were done looking at these. Now we've got more. How many of these dump trucks do we have? Uh, can anyone say common? Very common. Another one of these cars. We already looked at that. So just kind of a weird collection. You're probably asking, why did I buy this? I just think it's neat to go through these old collections. Whiz Wheels, the Burtone Runabout. You never know what you're going to find. And yes, there are some treasures in this lot. Just interesting, not overly valuable. But uh, for instance, this Matchbox, it's not old. It says 1981 on the copyright. But this one's probably from the late 80s, early 90s. I didn't have this paint job on this, even though it's well played with. It will go into my junkyard box, but still neat. And I just like going through old cars with you guys. It's just a lot of fun. Here's another one of those cars with a less nicotine type fan on it. Rollomatics. So that will actually turn. That fan will turn. There it goes. You probably can't see that in the video. But the fan is turning as the car rolls. So that one's actually neat. It's got the stickers still intact. What is this? This is a very old Lesney. Probably repainted, but we can't be sure. Uh, made in England, the Morris J2 pickup, number 60. If you guys know anything about these really old ones, let me know, because I am not up to date on the uh, edumacation of the oldest Lesney trucks. And uh, green light, there's even some green light in here, green light trailer. Not worth anything, not in that shape, missing lots of parts. Here we have an interesting little Jeep from Lesney. Jeep hot rod, not that interesting, but kind of cool. Opening doors on this car here, another old Lesney, also quite common. It's the Pinaferari, Pinaferniri uh, BMC 1800. I'm not saying that right, but I'm not really trying all that hard either. We've got a lot of cars to look at. Check out this old Lesney dump truck, very common. Scammel, uh, snow plow, so missing the plow. Matchbox, Lesney, very common truck, Mercedes truck. Nice shape, not bad. What is this thing? Toronto Paramedic Services. Well, that's kind of neat. This one's actually quite detailed. And uh, looks like it could have been part of a HO setup. Let's see what's on the base. Toy Cast Limited, it says, made in China. Probably part of an HO scale setup, I'm thinking. That's kind of a neat piece, but who knows anything much more about that. Let me know if you do. Tootsie Toy. we got some Tootsie Toys in here, and there is not much left of this one. Really not much left of it at all. It is a... I don't even know what it is. This one's neat. Old Lesney horse and carriage sort of vehicle. Pasteurized milk, it says, with the driver. There is two of these. One is red. This one's orange. And I have one horse between the two of them, so... We're going to put that one aside and uh, check it out. I think those could be quite collectible if they were in good shape. Majorette uh, kayak carrying trailer. No kayak. Husky camper. No longer chrome. Still kind of neat. Ford camper. We've even got a Hot Wheels red line in here. Just like all the other cars, which is two that I have of this casting. Um, it's missing the windshield. 
and a whole lot of paint. This one at least has four capped wheels still, but in that condition, pretty much worthless. Here's an alternate version of that Coca-Cola Chevy truck. This one's got the roll bar in it. Actually, come to think of it, I think this is the one that I had from childhood, not this one. All right, let's get into another case of cars. We've got a whole other, well, 200 plus cars to look at. So I'm going to clear these ones and make a bit of room. And we might as well just take a look at some of the more interesting individual pieces I picked up. So we've got the Majorette truck here. Uh, it's a Volvo Petro Company truck. I think this is about 1 100th scale. Yes, it is. It says so on the cab. 1 100th scale truck. Obviously well played with. Not worth much. It's a pretty common truck, but kind of neat if you collect trucks. Matchbox, the NASA truck. I do like this truck a lot, and although it is played with, it's not terribly in bad condition, just kind of dirty and missing a few paint bits. And uh, we've got the information on the bottom of this one. Matchbox it is a Peterbilt cab. It says so right on the uh, hood. And then you've got this nice plastic on metal chassis matchbox trailer what does that say the low bed trailer is all it says it's pretty neat i definitely don't have a complete and good version of this truck in my collection so for five dollars i was kind of happy to get that unit i don't know if it's worth much more than that in that condition certainly if it had the box that would be a different story here is an old dinky i think this has been repainted and obviously has some major window issues um however it's a oh sorry it's a corgi corgi major toys and uh the patent application has a patent application what is this bus called midland red motorway express coach made in great britain just cool junkyard material looks like it could be about 164 scale sounds like it's had a few miles on it i think we'll just park that over there as a retaining wall of all this junk that we've looked at already and we got the Batmobile, the 1989 Batmobile. And this is a neat casting, although pretty common. I've got a lot of these in my collection already. This one's in decent condition. Ertl Comics, 1989. And uh, just kind of a neat piece. Somewhat collectible for Batman fans more than anything because the scale is really off. And a closer look at the Marks Phone Company truck. This is the more common variation. There was also just the Phone Company truck without Marks on the door. And hard to find these things with the uh, little worker guy and bucket still attached. That's often missing on the arm. Um, this was actually a separate purchase at the same time. This was a $5 purchase for me. But you know what? I just don't see a lot of these Marks trucks anymore. And I kind of like picking them up when I do. I don't know if it's worth $5. But to me, it's worth $5. So we'll throw that in my hoard of phone company trucks and save it from the sandbox. Now let's get into looking at some more die cast. We're going to just go through the best case. Uh, not necessarily the best contents, but of the cases, this one is in the best condition. It's actually still got the latches. It's not all torn and taped together and ripped as some of these other ones are. So there is some residual value in the cases. This one would be good, except it's missing um, a big piece there that's ripped right off. At least the trays are still there and intact, which is useful for storage for me. So we're going to get into this case here and see what we find now. And versus dumping all of these vehicles out like I did with the Planos, we're going to go through these one at a time. It's just going to be a little easier. So we've got some Hot Wheel trucks. These are not uh, all that old. Probably late 80s, early 90s Peterbilt truck, dump truck. This one's actually in... Uh, Pretty well mint condition for being a mint opener. The copyright 1979 is not indicative of when this actual paint scheme was released. So we're going to put that off to the side. We've got two of them. This is from Hot Wheels Extras 1984. Also in mint condition. So pretty cool. Those were sold on single packs just like mainline cars. Not worth a ton of money, but still probably five, ten bucks. Uh, if you had one on card and whatnot. Majorette Peugeot Police, the Peugeot 205 GTI with the opening tailgate played with. So we're just going to go through all of these vehicles. Uh, an old Matchbox double-decker bus. These are going to be a quick uh, 
just kind of relishing in the amount of love these cars received over the years. The 57 Chevy by Hot Wheels. This would be released 1978 in these black wall wheels. Originally a red line car from 1977. Very well played with. It's just cool to see how well loved some of these cars were through the decades of being collected over and over again. Now, ultimately in my collection, very interesting. Fiero 2M4, I believe, from the Hot Ones. That license has been uh, scraped over by the company. Wheels are all over the place. Common car. Majorette Volvo with opening doors. The Volvo 760 GL. Check it out. Lots of suspension, opening doors. Came with a trailer hitch. I like that casting. This casting is hideously large when compared to other vehicles of the sort of scale. But another Majorette casting where they often do that. Ford Escort. So this will be a small car. Check it out next to the Volvo. It doesn't make any sense at all. Now check it out next to a Hot Wheel. Really makes no sense. But these were toys of the 80s. This is how it was. The worst offender was this Corvette. Which uh, is played with but in decent condition. Opening doors, suspension, as they often had. And Chevrolet Corvette, 157 scale. At least they were honest about the scale. But again, you put that next to a Hot Wheel and you're like, what happened? This is a unique piece in the collection. So I think this original collector that I uh, somehow acquired these cars from, this is 143rd scale, BMW something or other. I think he just kind of collected everything, perhaps. Or maybe this is just what he wanted to get rid of and was willing to sell. I'm not sure. Interesting, we have a red line paddy wagon in here. It's not in great shape, but, I mean, it's got some good parts on it. If you needed any of these parts, it's definitely seen better days. And it's a common casting, so really not jumping up and down for joy too much. We've got another red line uh, fire truck trailer. Pretty common to find these two, and it's in rough condition. So I don't think this is worth a lot, but it is from 1969. Got an old Lesney truck here, also quite common. Uh, the Hoveringham Tipper, I think that one is called. Got a few of those in the collection for sure. An old fire truck, Denver fire truck, missing a lot of stuff. Number 29. Now this is one I like a lot. It's the Plymouth Grand Fury by Matchbox Lesney. And even in this condition, I like collecting these cars. It's uh, just one of those kind of nice size scaled vehicles. Police car of yesteryear. So I'm definitely going to make a home for that one somewhere. Alongside the other 15 to 20 that I already own. And here is a beautiful old Matchbox Rolls Royce with opening doors. Decent condition. It's got some chips. We're not going to call them flea bites, that's for sure. It's got a little bit more than that. But it's a nice old car. Uh, silver shadow and uh worth worth saving for sure the only lockup i saw in the collection was this one and it is locked up so these lockups required a key that they were uh, sold with to unlock the doors and the wheels oh the wheels are unlocked that's interesting okay so the car is in unlock which means that it rolls and the uh, doors open rubber tires kind of interesting very played with value 25 cents. Here we have a Hot Wheels Real Rider uh, Jeep Scrambler. Pretty cool. Tough condition though. Really tough. Tough condition. Uh, that appears to be a piece of a Matchbox trailer. Garbage. Old Lesney Ambulance. Typical playwear, but it still has the cherry in nice condition. That can sometimes be hard to find as they often get scratched down to nothing. That's the uh, SS Cadillac Ambulance with a sticker still on the door. Check it out. Stickers are still on the door. Another paddy wagon. Nope, not a paddy wagon. This is uh, the T Toddler from Hot Wheels circa 1979. It says 76, but that's a 79 paint job. And we've got an old Majorette fire truck missing the windshield. Someone decided to go Rambo on this thing. Lost a lot of paint. Majorette made France. We're almost through the top 25 cars. Only about, oh, 175 more to go. Hope you got a little bit of time. Roll of Maddox. I don't know what's going to be rolling on this thing. 
Matchbox. Weird. I think this is a custom back. This truck has been custom painted and it has Hot Wheel wheels on it. So this is a total custom. It's actually been drilled apart. We've got a screw sticking through here. This is a custom. It's kind of neat, actually. That's a neat thing to see. I'm going to set that one aside because, you know, that's a cool little custom. That could be improved, I would think, with a little bit of... It's been played with since it was customized, that's for sure. So many hands these collect collections have passed through. Old Lesney Ambulance here. The Lomas Ambulance. Okay, now we got a few more of those tags that don't correlate to anything. Some uh, mismatched trays. We've got one mismatched tray. And we're down to the second layer. Strangely, some green light stuff again made its way in here. Not that old Dodge Monaco. Um, basically, I'll turn that into a junkyard car. Got another refuse truck. Boop, 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 boop. Couple little Corgi Land Rover police trucks. Not bad condition, but no value really. Corgi Jr. Range Rover police. No real value there. An old Lesney, uh, very common Mercedes truck. This is one of the older ones. You can tell by the wheels. Another Matchbox Lesney truck missing a lot. Ford Transit should have some boxes or crates or something in it. Here we have a Tamika Daily News with the stickers. Kind of neat. Not an overly desirable casting, but it is complete. Nissan Cabal. I don't know. That one's kind of neat. I got a little collection of Tamikas that I'll put that aside with. Here we have an old Yatmang. I told you, there's a brand from everywhere in this collection. Just random. Opening doors on this Chevy Impala SS. Tough condition, though. Very tough condition. Uh, this could be another Tamika. Some sort of tanker truck. Yeah, looks like a Tamika Suzuki. Something or other. Yeah, I'll put that one aside. Ooh, a common corgi truck. Uh, pretty rough. And it's got some sort of pube sticking out of it. We'll put that over in the deep clean pile. There's the other Plymouth Grand Fury. Rough condition, but I keep those ones aside because I like collecting the Plymouth Grand Fury. In this condition, I don't know that they're worth anything. It's really subjective to if you collect that car or not. Uh, very common police Sheriff Patrol. Looks like someone's tried to drill out the rivet, perhaps. No value there. Ice cream truck. Rough condition. Original paint, though. Or not ice cream. This is the bottled truck. The bottle float, it's called. I like that little casting. I've got a couple of those. They're neat. We've got a few other weird cars in here. Another common Lesney. Sort of strange casting of a... 62 Renault 17 TL something or other. Doors open. Neato. Ooh, this one's rough. I don't think that sticker is factory original. The windshield has seen better days. Looks like a Corgi Whiz Wheels. Porsche Carrera 6 by Corgi Whiz Wheels. The Hot Wheels Monster Vet. Common casting from the late 80s. More green light uh, accessories and kayak trailers. So... I don't know what that was doing in this collection or why it was even worth making note of, but there it is. Very common casting from the Matchbox Lesney. Super fast era. Nice interior on this little car. I think it's Maserati Bora. Maserati Bora. Very cool. And a common car here in Canada, but kind of uncommon. Hot Wheel for others. The Jaguar XJ S or 6. It's an XJ5. Never mind. Uh, not great condition though. And an old Ertl 57 Chevy with opening doors. Pretty common. Replica 57 Chevy. Here is a Maisto. Not sure what that was doing in here or if it's even old. It looks old. Horrible scale once again. Look at the scale difference. I mean, these cars will not be entering the junkyard. That's a uh, spoiler disclaimer. The scale is just all over the place, and that would bother me to the tens. I can't handle that kind of uh, scale difference, but they're just neat. I put each, each of these different brands in their respective kind of collections because I have sorted collections of all these vehicles, whether it be Lesney, Husky, what have you. Here's a Mercedes 350 SL. 
with the roof and windshield that's a hard thing to find on a played with version of this car as it's quite fragile still not worth anything extremely common another mercedes truck definitely seen one of those already and an old majorette missing the hood this is old because you can tell by those three spoke wheels that that's an older majorette the newer ones didn't have that the peugeot 604 in 160 of scale with a hideous trailer hitch as was common on the old majorettes that's all these cars like i said are pretty much going into a junk bin so i hope that you guys enjoy it and uh it's having having as much fun as i am going through it with you guys and here we have a really old lesney a lamborghini i believe lamborghini mira mira opening door still tough condition still has all the tires and the doors that's unusual and again, look at someone who actually went to all the trouble sorting all these cars. Um, I don't think there's any values on them, but there was everything in here from 2009 Matchbox cars, 3 to $5 from a 2009 five-pack. But they were in like super play with condition. I'm not really sure. Again, probably thera therapeutic sortation. I've done the same. I typically don't do it with cars that have no value, but... It's still fun to look at all this stuff together. So we're going to go through yet another box. We've got um, three of these boxes to go through. And an increasingly large mound of die cast, dare I say, junk. <laughs> Please, no offense to anyone that uh, is taking this the wrong way. I really do thoroughly enjoy going through these cars. And they will be preserved in my collection, at least until my demise. And then maybe on to someone else that will enjoy them. Definitely, we already saw one of these Pontiac cars. There it is. We've got three of them now. Big collection. This is kind of cool. The old Kent Fire Brigade. Um, this is a Lesney, I believe. With a plastic base number 57. Land Rover Fire Truck. Now, I don't actually have any of these in my collection that I know of, so I was kind of happy to get that one. It's missing a ladder by the looks of it. I think there's another one in here somewhere. Pretty common construction vehicle from Matchbox. Very common Hot Wheel. Just jammed it in there because, you know, I like the old uh, three window 34 and it's not terrible condition. This is in terrible condition. Another just big old Matchbox truck. We're going to try and speed this along. Matchbox construction tractor. Brutal condition. Very common. Matchbox ambulance with a sticker on it. Is it got the door? It does have the door. That's cool. Very common vehicle, however. And uh, what was it called? The uh, oh, I've got it upside down every time. The stretcha fetcha, stretcha fetcha, Stre fetching the stretcha. Very common car again. Lesney. Like I have to say over and over again. There's you haven't gotten to the car that isn't uncommon or common. But what do we have here? Uh, Lamborghini Marzal. I don't even know what that is. We haven't got to that one yet. There's a couple in here, but not many. I don't know what this is. An old Husky, perhaps. Sight Hut Truck. Lesney. Like, just so many vehicles made by Lesney over the years. Another tipper. Come on. That's six tippers. Look at all the workable components on this old Lesney. If our camera could focus, it's in very bad condition but if this truck was in good shape it'd be a lot of fun number 26 tipper truck another tipper truck overused name of the uh, video is the tipper truck what in tarnations is this thing not uh cool cosmobile i mean it is kind of cool but i have a lot of them so yeah not cool that way old uh majorette some sort of majorette Recycling truck of some kind. I don't know. Very small Lesney truck. Check out the scale. Again, using the Maisto. Let's use a uh, Matchbox truck. Like the scale is so far off. I don't know what this is from or how old it is. It looks really beat up though. It's kind of neat. Probably worthless. That's a newer Matchbox truck. So really nothing there. Matchbox Corvette Stingray from the super fast era, I think. Yep. Corvette. Common Matchbox car again. This is a Rollomatics, so the engine will smash up and down as it rolls. 
And that is the Hot Rocker. I like the names on them. Another one of these, uh, Alpha Carabo. I guess that was a pretty popular casting or car back then. Here we have nice Hot Wheels Oshkosh Snowplow, missing the snowplow. Um, this one's probably early 90s, so not, not rare. Mustang Mach 1, is it? Mustang Boss. Anyways, this one has an opening hood. Very common. Common little sand dune car. Painted one of these. I already saw those. Oh, it's a two-door. That's interesting. Did we see one of those yet? I don't think so. Saw the four-door. Similar cars, but not the same. 61 Citroën. Oh, okay, so they're not the same car, but they kind of got the same body style. You can you can see where I may have been wrong. And here we have the Lesney horse and trailer. Rough condition, probably repainted, maybe the horse part anyways. But uh, I think we're going to put that one aside because it's hard to find that little metal horse. And in fact, the horse was just kind of floating around in the collection. So it's just neat to see it. I don't have any of those in my collection. What on earth? This is total. Little ice cream truck. Lesney, pretty common. Ice cream canteen, they call that. And we're into the lower layer of vehicles. This one's neat. I remember looking at this one already. Hands are getting kind of dried out. These cars are chalky. It's got the double opening doors and the driver in it. And it is made by Husky called the Calmer Walkthrough Van. Isn't that neat? I thought that was neat. Kind of a neat old Husky. Haven't seen that one before. The Matchbox Horse Carrier. Horse? No horse. Common little Matchbox BMW, I think. Yeah, old BMW. Smash window opening doors. Pretty common. Another Mustang with the uh, missing hood. Got this old crane truck. It's actually in pretty good shape. Always hard to find these with the hook still on it and not chewed by children and cats. It's called the uh, eight-wheel crane. But it's a common vehicle. That one's neat to see in good shape, though. Again, not going to be worth a lot of money, like maybe a few dollars at most. This one is missing the motor, cracked windshield, common little uh, horse carrier truck. This one's a newer one, you can tell by the wheels. It's in decent condition, but not great. Old Combine by Lesney. So in decent condition, but very common. This is an older truck. This is the Grit Spreader. Grit spreader sand trucks. Grit spreading truck number 70. Neato. I tried to open the grit spreader and it will not open. An old Corgi Jr.'s Builder Supply Company truck. We saw one of those with wheels all over the place. That's actually Matchbox. Sorry. 1969. Decent condition, I guess. Still got the sticker. 57 T Bird from the Hot Wheels T Bird toss up and mainline. Look at this weird car from Matchbox with the sticker on it still. The whoosh and push. Whoosh and push. Very interesting. 57 Chevy. Was it worth putting a tag on? What did they pay for it, please? $5? Oh, my goodness me, the poor fella. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we've got another one. This one's been painted. It's an old Lesney. Very old. I don't have one of these in good shape. That's oh, a Husky. Husky. And another Husky. Husky dump truck of some kind. Bedford. Here's a custom. A Lesney with some slot car wheels on it. It's a tow truck. It even has a custom hook. Someone's hand painted this thing. Lovingly turned it into a bit of a more hot rod sort of Lesney truck. Definitely would not have come with these wheels and clearly repainted. Ah, it was about time we found another tipper, but can you imagine finding one this played with? This thing is beat. Yet the box is still on it. Absolutely incredible. Another Matchbox construction tipper trucker thinger. Very common Hot Wheels 1935 Cadillac from the early 80s. Lesney uh, El Camino thingamajing, missing the motorcycle. 
Auburn 852 boat tail speedster from Hot Wheels would be nice condition, but one of the headlights has been cracked off. It's got a few, shall we say, flea bites. That's too bad. Would have been nice if I had the headlights still. And what on earth? Matchbox. Leave it to Matchbox to make something like that. I don't have one of those in my collection. I don't know if I should be overly thrilled though. And here we have another one of those kind of Matchbox horse carrier trucks. That's another case. We've got about 100 cars left to look at. Hope you're still enjoying the video. The pile's getting bigger. Let's get into the next case. Really cool and nostalgic artwork on these old Matchbox cases. However, this one, as you can see, is torn right apart. Vehicles not included. Uh, lots of those weird Matchbox vehicles kind of just smashing about. Oh, look, at there's that one. Yeah, we got that one. And actually, I remember seeing that one too. We've seen a lot of these vehicles in here. A lot of weird vehicles. All right, here we have another layer. Mm -hmm. Let's go in for a look. Get a focus here, camera. What are we looking at? Let's try this one. Oh, these ones are those little cubbies. Hard to see. Uh, very common. Opening doors. Matchbox Ford Cortina. Kind of a larger scale. Right hand drive. Right hand drive on that one. Matchbox, uh, another construction piece, no steering action. The the road, Bomag Road Roller. Nice condition though. Not a hard one to find. These are going to be a nuisance to get out of these little tiny um, compartments. Ford Sierra Sport. And that's kind of cool. 1983 XR4. Ford Lesney uh, Wells Fargo. Armored service truck in nice condition. Actually, that one's decent, but extremely common. Extremely common. Johnny Lightning. This is about 2007. Don't know why there's such a random assortment of cars in here. Um, I like the old Johnny Lightnings. Don't get me wrong, but I have a couple of these already. And uh, that is a 65 Ford Falcon hearse. You got to be a very short person to fit in the back of a Ford Falcon on your deathbed. Matchbox, dump truck, very common. Another very weird matchbox car from the 70s. The Road Dragster. That's that's original. Mercedes 380 SEL, seven spoke variation. Super common Hot Wheel. It's actually in decent condition. I don't even see a chip on it, really. It's got some frosting on the base. Worth, oh, 50 cents. There's lots of those around. Same true for the Hot Wheels BMW 850i. This one's well played with. Dusty. And, uh, yeah, well, whatever. It's in good shape. Another Johnny Lightning Monopoly truck. So, that's not old. Looks like a bit of a Monopoly collection here. Got the Chevy uh, Tahoe in here. No real value on those open and played with. So here's the other Kent Fire Brigade Land Rover truck. Saw one of those earlier, and uh, that's now both and one obviously a little bit more played with, but still missing both the missing ladders, unfortunately. Rather old Lesney uh, dump truck, the uh, Euclid dump truck, very small scale. Once again, just let's put it next to a Hot Wheel. So they are not going to fit together in a junkyard very well. Common dump truck here as well. I believe this is the, uh, well, it just says dump truck. So not a lot of information. Recognizable truck, though, from yesteryear. Here we have a really old truck. I think this is a Lesney. Can we get a focus? Not sure why the camera is not cooperating. But anyways, the Rotniff soup. Okay, whatever. I don't know. Rotniff something or other. Oh, no, please don't tell me someone paid something for this car. Hot Wheel Corvette Stingray H3. $5. I see Playware. I don't think that's going to be worth $5, but we'll figure out where that's from. Maybe a five-pack or something. Lesney Wagon, kind of cool. I like those Mercury Police cars missing. Nothing, actually. Just stickers are kind of rough on it. Neato. That's a very new, about 2007 Matchbox Cadillac hearse. No value. Another one of these Matchbox logging trucks. No value. 
Oh, how many of those have we looked at now? Oh, we got the horse trailer and oh, I was hoping that was the ramp. It's just a piece of cardboard. No horses. A lot of damage. Lesney horse trailer. Another road grate gritter sander thing missing the whole plastic sander this time. Another logging truck. That's like three now. They're all in a pile right now. Oh, and another one of these things. So not a very diverse collection given the amount of cars. Not overly diverse. Another tipper. Oh my God, that's like nine tippers. Another Pontiac thingamajig. 55 Hot Wheels Chevy, gold hot ones. About 1982. Worthless in that condition. Let's just go for the one vehicle that might be worth more than $5 here, which would be the first one to break a dollar. That is this Ecolab Hot Wheels. This is kind of like a specialty item produced by Ecolab. I've already got three or four of these in my collection, but yet I've never opened one. Let's do that now. This has been in the sealed package since about 1998. La! The Ecolab truck. Very cool. Kind of like that truck a lot. Ford Bronco. Don't like the wheels all that much, but with the Ecolab on the back of it, it looks pretty neat. And that is now fresh out of the package after 25 years. Cool. We actually have two, but this one is the older Blackwall version, missing the coveted Ecolab uh, rear bed portion, or whatever you want to call it, box. So, and obviously heavily played with. So value, scalap. But this one, I'm going to actually put right on my display wall alongside the three others that I already have. So, we got $5 out of it. And what do we got here? I don't know, some sort of European matchbox car. Uh, the Saab, European. Saab 9000, that's cool. Opening doors. I didn't really look at it closely enough before just assuming. Ask you meaning. What do we got over here? Matchbox Mercedes. Ooh, that one's actually in okay shape. It's a common one. I like this one. These big heavy Mercedes 300s. Super old Lesney cleansing service truck. A cleansing service truck. Isn't that interesting? Tri-Packs Refuse Collector. Land Rover. Some old Land Rover series safari truck. Very common. More common in blue than green, but still uh, pretty common. Wow, this one looks old. This one looks really old. Who makes this old unit? Some sort of old, uh, ooh, generic brand. Nothing on it. What does it say? Made in England is all it says. Yikes. That is old. That has got to be old. I don't think it's worth anything, though. Old Lesney cement mixer. Some old Hardy Toy Corvettes. Look at the flashing on this casting. Wow, that is rough. Can anyone say high dollar collectible? I know. I know high dollar collectible there. Another roll of matic with the old head pop. This time not mutilated. Kind of actually in good shape. Still has the stickers. And that's the mini. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. So that guy jumps up and down theoretically. I don't know if it actually works still. I'm not. Don't have the space to try it. There is another old Lesney Jaguar E type. Very cool. Rough condition. I like those wheels, though. Another, another, another Hardy toy. This one has not nearly the issues of the last one, however well played with. Oh, another horse-carrying matchbox truck. Tomika, Rolls-Royce, opening doors. Oh, it's Yatming. Well, they shared this casting. One of them sold it to the other, I think. Maybe, uh, maybe Tomika sold it to Yatming, or Yatming stole it. Who knows? There's a new matchbox. That's not old at all. One dollar. And this one's got some interesting graphics. It's still complete. Old Lesney. Some sort of uh, 
Matchbox Series tipple, Tipper, eight wheel tipper, they call that one. So quite a reused casting, as you can see. Here's the logging truck version. They just kind of keep changing the back on them. We've got one case left after this. We've seen the Fire Chief car. This is a common casting. It's the first time we've seen it in this lot. And unfortunately, it's in rough shape, but not terrible. Ford Zephyr. Kind of a cool little casting. Oh, we still have a couple more. Grab these Hardy toys out of a collection as well. So, Volkswagen Golf or GTI or something. Uh, GTI, yeah. Opening doors on those. Really, really simplistic cars. Suspension, though. And I don't actually have that one in my collection. So, <laughs> might as well add it into the Hardy toy collection. Last one. Majorette. Super common. Ambulance. Not the Sonic Flasher. A little dirty, but it'll clean up. Uh, well, maybe not. Very common. Okay, so that's it for that collection. We've got one case left. Let's finish off this case and this collection of old trucks. Look at the patina on this old Husky. It is the, oh, it's the sight truck. We saw that one already. We've seen that one. A lot of repeats here. I'm going to have to say there's another one of those Land Rover Ken trucks. Ah, oh, this one is a ladder. At last, we found one with a ladder. Not all is lost. We've got two parts trucks, which equate to nothing because the parts are missing. But we have one with a ladder. Oh, it's got a broken window or maybe a bad casting. It still has the stickers on it. Kent Fire Brigade. Hey, it's in good shape. I'm going to put that one aside. They all have a painted grill. No, they do not. We've got a variation here. Or either that some diorama guy has gone and inked over the grill to try to make it look more realistic, thereby reducing its value greatly. Awesome. And on we go. This is a neat little Lesney Jeep. I think this is the Jeep or no, it's not the Jeep. It's a Ford. Ford pickup with the Lesney wheels. Missing the grill, so that's not going to be of a lot of value. There's another one of those bubble top cars. Ooh, someone died in there, I think. I don't know. I don't know. It's not looking good. And this one came from the bottom of the ocean, by the looks of it. Really, really tough condition on that Husky. There, why don't you just lose focus immediately, camera, as I'm trying to showcase the ocean car. Another Lesney truck. Missing clearly everything. Well, what do you think, guys? Do you think I uh, you think I did okay on this? I mean, I, it worked out to about uh, about 50 cents a car, I think. So I don't think I really made off with a deal. But, you know, it's interesting. And I was hoping that maybe you guys would like this video and, and uh, find some nostalgia. This one's actually in good shape. The Sealand Matchbox Mercedes Container Truck. That's kind of neat. The really weird scale. All to say... Hopefully, um, the video generates a little bit of uh, retribution income for this uh, collection. Here we have a Denver fire truck. It's actually in decent condition. It's got the uh, rotator on top and the lights, and it's actually a little bit even shiny on the bottom. Fire pumper truck. Very common matchbox tractor. Yeah. Another one of these silly things. Oh, did you guys know it steers? I did not know it steers. Even the steering wheel steers. That's kind of neat. Okay, well, let's look at it. We didn't look at it the first time. What is this? The Road Roller. Wow, that's original. Number 21 Road Roller. Here we have a Hot Wheels Dodge Ram 1500 played with. 1990s, I think. Nothing special about that. Another Grant. Oh, what is this? Oh, my goodness. What is it called? The Grinder Sifter Sander. Grit Sander. The Grit Sander. Also, not good shape. Dump Truck. Seen that one. Combine. This one had rubber tires, so it was a really old version. Missing the chute and the tires. Garbage. Whole bunch of weird old cars. Oh, here's another one of those things, so they're not rare. The Unknown England car. What on earth? This thing doesn't even have a front axle. It must be a Tootsie. It's so small. Look at it. Look at the size of it next to a Hot Wheel. We need that for scale right now. Uh, is that a Tootsie? T dinky? Wow, that is the dinkiest dinky toy I've ever seen. I thought they were bigger than that. Another old Lesney cement mixer. 
Oh, found the axle. You found an axle with one wheel. There you go. Call it restored. Now put it on eBay for $15. $15. Nope. Not likely. Fire Chief car has the stickers, but look at that siren. Just scraped. Ooh, an old Lesney gray wheel with the lifter on it. That's kind of neat. A little driver cast in there. It's a Lesney tractor of some kind. Oh, that's an old one. What? What is it? Nothing. It's a nothing. Oh, look at this. Maybe there's more to it. Does that go? Yeah, that goes together. Wow. Just a really old toy. Probably repainted a million times. Uh, maybe not. I don't know what it is. Doesn't say. Another one of these things. The pusher wusher schmusher musher pusher gusher. Little Lesney tractor. Another Lesney log loader. This is going to be original, I promise you guys. If you've stuck around this long, look at this weird thing. 1980s, what is this, Transformers? It's missing something for sure. Some weird Corvette. 84 Corvette, made Macau. What on earth is that thing? Husky, you got a Husky car here. Ford Zephyr estate car. That's actually in deep, no, it's not in decent condition. Missing everything. Another Husky. Super small little Buick Estate. Is this the Buick? It's the Buick Electra. I was so close. Looks like someone stepped on it. And what do we got here? This is clearly a low value matchbox fire truck. Yeah, Lesney matchbox Merriweather fire engine. Missing the ladder. Okay, well, we got another layer of awesome vehicles to look at with you guys. What do we got here? Really weird looking um, race car. Team Matchbox. Uh, team, yeah, that's that's called a Team Matchbox. That's original. Come on, Matchbox. Good old Chevy Tahoe. That's a newer one. Well, not that new. I grew up playing with this one, so it's probably still about 25 years old. It's in good shape. It's going to go in the good shape pile over here to the left, where I have a total of uh, four cars. Okay. And this one is nearly brand new. Some sort of brand new truck. Uh, well, there's another one of those. There's another one of those. There's another one of those. Oh, it's a farmer farm market logo. Well, it's missing the hooks and uh, somebody friggin' ruined the windshield. Matchbox, that's new. It's not that's not old at all. Looks like it's from a five pack. Rollomatics. Yeah, the Rollomatics doesn't work though. And look at the cat got to it. Meow. Meow chew. An opening hood on this thing. Let it begin. Okay, next. Another one of these old Mercedes trucks. Oh, a zero value kind of scrap iron die cast Lesney tractor with no treads. Another one of these builder trucks. We've seen three of them so far. Oh, but look it. We have a variation. We have a variation of the wheels. We have an old wheel variation. This one is worth a total of two cents more than the other one in this condition. Scaffolding truck. The variation scaffolding truck. Trucks. Junk trucks. Another one of those junk trucks. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's the other wheel. So the high value, the high value car here from yesteryear. Yes. $100 on eBay. $100. Husky, Oldsmobile, no trunk. We have an original log for one of the many log trucks. Look at that. We have one log for five log trucks. Okie dokie. Oh, there's the common blue Land Rover Safari truck that we saw in green. 
another tractor missing its treads with a very dedicated driver just shifting shifting gears the old lesney oh one of these again come on guys pathfinder the nissan pathfinder that's kind of neat probably from a five pack or something i don't know not old copyright 94 i like the suspension i'm gonna put that in the good pile what is this what is this it's a tipper truck number 10 and a husky ford thames we saw one of those missing the door again missing the door why did i buy this <laughs> i don't know i don't know <laughs> oh my goodness this one's kind of neat it's been repainted bedford seven and a half ton tipper that's a first and oh my goodness thank goodness it has it has all the parts but it has been repainted so value is nothing Oh, I hope you didn't stick around the whole video to find out that there was no vehicles of value other than $5 Hot Wheel Eco Ecolab truck. Look at this thing. Oh, last but not least. Nope, nope, there's one more. I'm going to save this one to last because we have another one of these tractors, which are common. But this one, I actually don't have a lot. I don't have any of these in my collection. Look at this weird thing. This is definitely a Lesney. Definitely original. And what is it? Made in England? Lesney? What is it? The Muir Hill number two dumper. Number two. This one might be worth the most of all the vehicles we've looked at. If you wait to the very end of the video and watch 249 other junk vehicles get heaped into a giant horde of junk, of absolute junk, and then saw this one as the last vehicle, I commend you. Number two, Lesney. This thing's got to be worth something. Please, someone tell me that thing's worth something. Please tell me it's worth at least $50. I don't know. It's cool. I don't care. I'm not selling any of this stuff. I'm not an eBay seller. I don't sell my die cast. I'm just a collector. But anyways, I've got a mountain. A mountain of junk here that's deep. I mean, it's deep. Very deep. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you in the next. And no, none of these vehicles are going in the junkyard. We're going to save it for something a little bit more worthy. Happy hunting.